I got a question for Icy Mike. Gun disarms, because he's done a lot more gun stuff than me. Are gun disarms real? Yep. Are they not real? Are they kind of real, but they're so low percentage, they're not worth talking about? Yep. So we got this, boom. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't have a, the grip of a nine-year-old, so yeah. it didn't work. Because I have, I have details on like that kind of gun disarm to make it better, but is that something that's even worth getting good at? Um, sort of, all right? So a lot of qualifiers and caveats to this, right? Yes. Normally I don't do that, because normally I don't care that people fall into a hole and don't understand <laughs> completely what we're saying. I normally don't care, but this is serious business. We're, we're stepping beyond like goofy sparring techniques, like little foot sweeps to use when you're doing kickboxing sparring with your friends. Yeah, when you're going light in a gym where people care about you. Right, like, this yeah. This is going in your face. This is pretty serious, and the, the short answer is uh, it's all bullshit. Okay. Right? I don't know of anyone, and now I am not an expert in this, believe it or not, right? Uh, I, I'm an expert in almost everything, but not this. I've trained with, I paid a lot of money to train with people who are smarter than me and know more about this. And the general community consensus from people that I believe in and respect is that they, have, they do train them and they do work on them, but they're not high percentage. It really sucks. And the gist of, the gist of it is if you are not close enough to touch the gun, right? Like, yeah, if I'm not close enough to touch the gun, you're not getting it. It's not happening. That one should be obvious. I like you should I have really to feel that. like it should be. Yeah. But I have seen some people going towards it. Now, this is the big problem is people don't like uh, what's the what's the, the nerdy reference for this when you can't win a situation? Right. That's what it's called. Kobe oh. Kobayashi Maru. I feel so bad for knowing that. Kobe, the old Kobayashi. Kobayashi Maru test in Star Trek where it's God. a way to test officers in a no-win situation to see how they react. Yeah. There was a there was a there was a scene in Star Trek. Oh, did you know that you do that very well? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like the so, Kobayashi so, Maru. So test. here's it's so complicated. It it's actually not complicated. I don't know. It might be so simple that it becomes complicated again. This is the deal. Even if you knew cool moves right? You might still get shot. So that's where people will, will get confused about this is they'll try to create a move where they never get shot, which is asinine. That'd be like me showing you a boxing technique where you never get punched. You know, no, you're going to get punched. That'd be like a basketball play, a basketball defense. So the other team never scored baskets, right? Yeah. The other team is going to score baskets. The other boxer is going to land punches. The dude with the gun is going to shoot gun bullets out of his bullet gun. That's going to happen. <laughs> Gonna. Yeah, so there's no there's no hundred percent thing, which is okay in every other pursuit. It, but but this but the, one yeah means like if even you, if I had a, a, an eighty percent technique, which would be a great phenomenal great technique. Amazing. Imagine if I said there was a submission that worked eighty percent of the time. <gasps> yeah, dude. Yeah, I wanna, Why yeah, learn I anything else? <laughs> even if we got up 50, 60, it would be great technique. But with the gun, it just doesn't matter. So, like, if I'm here, I'm not disarming this gun. And you say, well, okay, then you need to run away. But the gun bullets go far, right? So that's contextual, too, because just run away might not be a great idea, too, because I think Jake could probably get bullets on me before I get out that door. I mean, I suck, but most people there, definitely yeah. could. Yeah. <laughs> well, and if I start running right now in this scenario, yeah. you know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah there's not really Yeah, you else. can just camp the door and... <laughs> as I, yeah. If you're close enough, generally speaking, and this is why I don't teach like a... Like a... Like a... Like this or like a... Like this or there any certain thing, but there's some truth to this. If you do this... If <laughs> you do this they can't hold on to the gun, right? That if is the biggest, most important part because how do I make that happen? It's not through this, it's not through some kind of cool thing until I establish some form of control, which usually looks a lot like this. I mean, this is, we make fun of the dudes that teach this stuff, mm -hmm. but the problem is they teach this stuff and then, Have it and then you like. stay just like that and then I do this. When what really happens, this is the way you guys want to learn how to get good at weapon stuff. So what weapon stuff, a demo of a good weapon technique would be to move the gun, get offline, capture the gun, turn it back into the guy. There's nothing wrong with the mechanics of any of that.
but much like there's nothing wrong with the mechanics of Kota Gaish. There's like this hurts and you can toss someone across the room if they just do that. If I don't react defensively, right? Anyway. Start punching me with that hand, yeah. or, or do a do a cartwheel. You can just do a cartwheel, dude. Just do a cartwheel. Uh -huh. Yeah, that way. I'm yeah, not doing a full cartwheel. Right. <laughs> That's the big if. So people will show mechanical stuff, and they'll say, and they'll seem like logic to it. Because if I pointed a gun, you just now, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it, it came out of my hand. There you go. You I turned. Know. It's in my hand now. So right. There we go. But when it's real, people tend to grip things harder, and it mm -hmm. becomes harder. And what it ends up turning into is more like. Uh, an arm drag race mm -hmm. where we're fighting over like this and it gets a little more lively and everyone's focused on this, right? So if we go, we'll just go like live for a second, but let's just look at it. Let's just see how it goes. All right, so I go like this. Here. Oh, I got shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. So here's what happened. I got shot for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we all got flashed. We are very dead. Room 18 times. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what happened. All right. <clears throat> now, uh, let's uh, go live again. Okay. Uh, let's go to to take down. Okay. Ready? All right. Go. Yeah, so. <laughs> and it, it looked similar. Very Four similar, times. one key difference. Jake's decision to face me when we weren't fighting over a gun versus when there was a gun. I think you cared more about that. Yes. You prioritized holding on to this rather than addressing me. So I'm like, he's not gonna choke me out in the time it takes or, for me or to you might get. Even, or you might even have thought, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care about getting taken down, or choked out, or swept, or tripped, or whatever. Got to hold on to this gun. Because if I'm in bottom mount, we have a free gun. So the main, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still win. <laughs> so the main thing is everyone's going to sort of fixate and prioritize this. Everyone's going to be worried about this. But he even figured out right away, head position is important regardless of whether there's a gun or not. So you still have to wrestle, and it generally becomes a big gross motor. I think disarms can happen. Most of the time it's because of other Like I'm hitting you or it bumps into something or it gets caught between something. Even in, hit the ground. Even in the courses where like we get into stuff like this, it generally is a big gross motor like battle. It looks more like this. It looks more like that than Ooh, that. It's just sort of a, you have to be good at fighting to make it happen. So the answer is, know how to fight. Yes. It's the same thing I say in every video. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I have a pretty surefire way. So it's pretty simple, honestly. And I know you're thinking, Seth, this foot is close to him. Yeah, sure. But are you going to be able to generate enough power? No. I'm going to have to spin first. <laughs> spin to win. Okay, so I'm, like, this is the same range, right? That's the, that actually, this is the range that I didn't have a great answer for. Right. So here, good thing Seth's here. Right off the bat, I'm more narrow sideways. Smaller Increases target. Increases my likelihood of not getting shot by 10%. Easily. Just size-wise. Sure. Right? And that was my problem. I, I had a 90% technique, but it was the last 10%. It was the last so 10%. I'm glad you're here. So from here, if he's got that gun there, I'm going bang, and I'm trying to kick it out. Cameraman gets shot. Now he's got to address that. Everybody else gets shot. Also, yeah. but but in all honesty, like you guys were talking through it and you were both getting like super technical, like, oh I'm wrestling, you're wrestling, and then gun in the middle. But like most likely this guy's probably not wrestling. I'm so glad you said if that. You grab the guy's gun arm, he like gets head position and pummels, you're like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I chose the wrong one. Yeah. But it's it's I'm glad you brought that up. So you actually did contribute something real. Right? It was hidden well, in was, comedy though. Accident. That's that's the best part about entertainment. So so Jake is a better grappler than me. Like objectively we already know that. But when so there's a are. gun involved, everybody's skill level diminishes cuz it's a new game. It's a to it's a it's like a meta game yeah. and the stakes get higher. Like, you know, when you're under pressure, you don't perform as well. Right. So it takes time in with practice. The good news is, 
If you take wrestling, jujitsu, or MMA, all you guys have to do is get one of these. And then you just hand it to the guy, and I say point it at me, and then we say, okay, we're gonna go laugh. You know? And then we just, we just try shit. You just try stuff that you would normally kind of know how to do anyway. And he has to solve this little puzzle. And you can train it at different levels of intensity. Like that was sort of like a 10% yeah. kind of cooperative flow. And then you, if you get to here, and what was the problem you were having? So you, uh, Jake was having a problem getting it back. Yeah, my arm's stuck. And I got this hand and I need to, but I don't, I can't use this hand because we're hand fighting over here. So mm -hmm. maybe I figured out that I do something like this. And now I kind of have a little more control, a little freer hand, and maybe I can yeah. start to reach and grab. And then maybe he starts wrenching it out and then maybe, Stuff like this happens, and then we figure it out, and then we get into, and then I figured out, even mid, mid roll the other one, I figured out I did some stuff like this. Which, if you already know jujitsu and wrestling, like this, these positions should be familiar to you. So the bad news is disarms are disarms suck. They're low percentage mm -hmm. and they're tangential. They're like a a nice bonus if it happens. The good news is if you have grappling skills, it's easy and fun to train. And going off of that, there's other things where like you're afraid someone's gonna draw. And so like things to stop the draw or stop them from getting out and whatnot, getting to here, it's now once again wrestling. Yeah. Like it's I still and if actually, I can't wrestle, I'm still in trouble. Yeah. But yeah, and actually get it stopping it before the draw is a, that's a whole other topic. Mm. That's actually the best way. Yes, but way easier than when it's already pointed right. at you. <laughs> but but the uh, the basic idea is that you need to know that uh, you turn turn the gun right. You need to know that that's how it comes out of my hand, and then you need to come up with a system of wrestling and grappling that allows you to do that. Much like if you're an MMA guy who's not really a grappler and you like to ground and pound, you just need to know a top game enough to get you to a position where you can punch, not where you can submit. And if you want to see a video on that. We'll put a link up there and that card right there. See how good I am at this? Just a comment yeah, on yeah. it is um, a lot of that stuff you can easily transfer to the knife. It's all the same all the different toilet. Same stuff. Yeah. Like you it's look at, even harder with a knife. Yeah, because like well, you are just like you said, the, you're gonna get cut. Yeah. You know, like you're gonna get shot. The problem with knife stuff is in the way it's taught, is it's always taught in this flowery stuff. But then you look at the Wow, I caught something. <laughs> you look at the uh, <laughs> you look at the meta of it. <laughs> like if you go to cut me, ah, right? You see, but uh, you came at me wrong. You have to understand. Yeah, you always slap you. You suck. Yeah. yeah. So and then you do something cool. <laughs> Boom! There's my disarm, and I'm good. Mm -hmm. Reality is, you just stab me. Oh God! And then you have to come in and go and start, you start wrestling for the night, and it looks. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's this. It's the 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 idea is we have to isolate the arm and leverage it out of the hand if right. you want to disarm it. It's been my experience observing that, and I've observed lots and lots of live rolls with simunition guns where two dudes were really trying to murder each other, not for real. Really trying to not really murder each other. They were really trying, yeah. but not really dying. They were com trying to win. Yeah, they was competitive. <laughs> like they were trying to win. There was a ton of people watching and cameras on them, so they were really trying to win. I've like seen a, a lot of them. Murder. Yeah, and and never did someone just easily strip the weapon away from another person, even when there was a disparity of skill, even when it was a jiu-jitsu guy and a noob. No clean, beautiful Nothing disarm. pretty Nothing. ever happened, right? Usually what happened was some form of, the, like we showed earlier, me prying it desperately out of someone's hands or getting to a great position and they would just start hammering them, right? And a lot of times the gun or the knife or whatever would fall free or come free or something like that. And then very rarely, another thing that happened very rarely is even if I hit the disarm and it ended up like this, me to successfully go get it and then do it. Most of the time what happens is everybody's freaking the f out over this weapon and whoever can get it, it usually ends up, that happens a lot. And then now you know what I mean? Because I don't even want it in there anymore because I just took it from you and you took it from me and we fought over it for what felt like an eternity. Right? That moral of the story, you need to know how to fight. Mm -hmm. Right? That's basically it. So know how to fight and then get a practice weapon. That's it. And then we learn how to fight. That's exactly <laughs> it. Look at this kid, he's an idiot. I bet that he can't even fight. Cause my corrupt my guy skills could totally kill. Only my school does martial arts right. Blah, blah, blah.